In today's show, $30,000 Bitcoin price has a severe impact on Bitcoin miner profits, according to this latest analysis by CryptoQuant, quoting them here, if depreciation and mortization charges are included, then the cost basis for mining Bitcoin is at around $30,000, basically at the same level as the current Bitcoin price. And as Plan B shares here, it shows you the current Bitcoin price at $30,000 equals 16 ounces of gold at $1,850. Bitcoin seems a bit undervalued, in my opinion. And quoting Rec Capital, anything below $35,000 thousand dollars represents a period that has historically preceded outsized returns on investment for long-term Bitcoin investors. And as shared here by Crypto Rover, everyone who is waiting for a $20,000 Bitcoin will end up buying Bitcoin above $100,000. And this just in breaking news, Jack Dorsey and Jay-Z to fund Bitcoin education for public housing residents in New York. Here's Jay-Z's tweet here. Shout out to Jack. Bitcoin Academy started in Marcy, a place that taught me so much. is hopefully the first of many. The simple goal is to provide people tools to build independence for themselves and then the community around them. Also in today's show, global Bitcoin adoption to hit 10% by 2030, according to this latest Blockware report, quoting them here, all disruptive technologies follow a similar exponential S-curve pattern, but newer network-based technologies continue to be adopted much faster than the market expects. And with Bitcoin Direct, financially incentivized adoption creates a game theory in which everyone's best response is to adopt Bitcoin. Also in today's show, Bitcoin will finish 2022 flat possibly up, says Thomas Lee, as Michael Saylor bets on a $1 million Bitcoin price. Quoting Tom Lee from a recent interview on CNBC, Bitcoin is acting far better than people expected, says Tom Lee on sticking with Bitcoin. It's a risk on asset, so to the extent the Nasdaq and Bitcoin rally, it's helping us be more comfortable that the market has already bottomed. And quoting Michael Saylor, if the deniers are wrong and the skeptics are wrong, and it's pretty obvious they're both wrong at this point, it is not going to zero, and if it's not going to zero, it's going to a $1 million. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market as you can see all the major cryptos are currently correcting and in the red but where's the bitcoin price likely to go next find out all this plus so much more in today's show Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every single day. The goal is to get to 100,000 subs. If you like getting that crypto, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. And today's episode is brought to you by BlockFi, the number one leading provider when it comes to financial products and services for crypto investors and the number one platform to buy, sell, and earn crypto. That's right. Did you know they offer low-cost trading where you can trade the top crypto assets at competitive prices and store them all in one convenient place. Now, another flagship product of theirs is their BlockFi Bitcoin Rewards Visa credit card. They have literally paid out over $15 million in crypto rewards. And here's how it works. Within your first 90 days, you'll earn 3.5% Bitcoin back on all your purchases. And then after that, 1.5% Bitcoin back for life. Now, you can also earn your crypto rewards in Bitcoin or Ethereum and see if you are approved with no impact to your credit score. Truly making this a no-brainer. So go ahead and click my referral link in the description right down below. Get started today and claim your bonus of up to $250. And let's get this crypto, shall we? All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV. How's it going, crypto fam? Make some noise in the live chat. The Bitcoin is squeezing its miners this month as suppressed prices threaten to impact profitability. The latest data shows both narrowing profit margins and miners waiting longer to recoup their initial investment. And while Bitcoin miners have largely held off on major distribution, as Bitcoin descends from all-time highs, the picture now appears precarious. That's right. Calculations from on-chain analytics platform CryptoQuant reveal that miners' production price, which is how much it costs to mine a single Bitcoin, could be right where the current spot price resides. And while raw cost may be around 22000 per Bitcoin for miners in North America, which is the home to the lion's share of the hashing power, additional costs could put the total at more like 30000 quoting CryptoQuant here. We estimate cost basis for Bitcoin miners in North America, around $22,000 per Bitcoin mine. This estimate includes the direct cost of mining and SNA expenses. It does not include depreciation and amortization charges. CryptoQuant senior analyst Julio Moreno confirmed to Cointelegraph and shared the following. If depreciation and amortization charges are included, then the cost basis for mining Bitcoin is at around $30,000, which is basically at the same level of the current Bitcoin price. And fears of a capitulation event amongst miners should should the spot price deteriorate remain a main talking point. But so far, however, only the May dip below 24,000 saw a noticeable reaction 
from the mining community, and quoting them again here, our data shows increasing Bitcoin flows from miners to exchanges during March 2022, and then the sharp spike in flows during the first week of May. This is in line with Bitcoin selling reported by some mining companies in quarter one of 2022, and in January's miners' production costs, it appeared to be at around $34,000, separate data showed. And continuing, mining firm Luxor's hash rate index metric produced more interesting insights. The index, which shows the current price in the United States, dollar per Terra hashes, according to the ASIC miner efficiency, confirms that the cost area has been decreasing incrementally since December 2021. And at the same time, findings by Twitter user XBT James shows the time taken for the average participant to enter profit by seeing return on investment is expanding. As he shares here, ASIC pricing measuring in US dollar per Terra hash has been coming off materially since late 2021, but pricing measured in static days to ROI tells a different story. Time to ROI has been increasing steadily since the China ban ASIC fire sell last year. While USD pricing on ASICs has come down, the sell-off in Bitcoin and the increase in difficulty has combined to severely impact mining profitability. And with the above, I would expect more pain in the ASIC market, lower US dollar per Terra hash pricing if we don't get higher Bitcoin prices. So there you have it. And checking out the latest from Plan B, creator of the Bitcoin Stock to Flow model. He shares this chart, which shows you 16 ounces of gold, which is currently valued at $1,850, currently equals to one Bitcoin, currently valued at $30,000 dollars in shares. Bitcoin seems a bit undervalued, in my opinion. Let me know if you agree or disagree with the quant analyst and checking out the latest updates from crypto analyst Rec Capital. Perhaps Bitcoin hasn't yet experienced its absolute bottom, but data science suggests that Bitcoin is now in a general macro bottoming out period and catching the absolute bottom isn't necessary for success, especially if you're building exposure by dollar cost averaging. This lower time frame Bitcoin price action will make you lose sight of what matters and what's perspective over the long run and Investors that hodl will outperform 95% of the market. As the saying goes, time in the market is better than timing the market. Anything below $35,000 represents a period that has historically preceded outsized returns on investment for long-term Bitcoin investors. And as Crypto Rover points out here, everyone who is waiting for a $20,000 Bitcoin price will end up buying Bitcoin above $100,000. I can absolutely relate. And someone responded above $300,000 in 2025. Send it. And before I break down next break and story of the day, Jack Dorsey and Jay-Z to fund Bitcoin education for public housing residents in New York. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin and all the major cryptos are currently correcting. And in the red, with Bitcoin down 1.73% for the day, trading just above $29,600. We have Ether down 3.7%, trading just above $1,700. While Cardano and Solana are in the blood red, along with Binance, XRP, and Polkadot all correcting and in the red. But all right, now let's break down our next story of the day. Legendary New York hip hop artist and producer Jay Z, Jigga Man, has joined forces with the founder of Cash App, Jack Dorsey, to launch the Bitcoin Academy, an educational program advocating for the democratic vision that education is power, exclusively available for residents of the Marcy Project building housing complex in New York City. That's right, we're talking about the PJs. The scheme will commence June 22nd and run until September 7th with options for both in person and online attendance. The free educational program is designed to enhance access to financial information and provide inclusive opportunities taught by educators Lamar Wilson of the Black Bitcoin Billionaire and Najah Roberts of the Crypto Blockchain Plug. The specific details of the lessons are sparse at this time, but topics surrounding the necessity, utility, and vision for Bitcoin, as well as general financial literature are all expected. Children aged 5 to 17 have also been encouraged to join the Crypto Kids Camp on two of the Saturday events, while adult attendees will receive a portable Wi-Fi hotspot device, a one-year limited data plan, and a smartphone if required, including Jack Dorsey here. Mr. Sean Carter and I are funding the Bitcoin Academy, a program for residents of Marcy Housing in Brooklyn, New York, where Jay grew up, designed in collaboration with Crypto Blockchain Plug and Black Bitcoin billionaires. And Jack goes on to share, Bitcoin is becoming a critical tool for many in Africa and Central and South America. We believe the same potential exists within communities in the US. Our goal is to prove that making powerful tools more available to people enables them to build greater independence. Now, education is where we start. This isn't just about Bitcoin. It's about long-term thinking, local economies, and self-confidence. Courses are free to all Marcy residents, including kids. And to make it even easier, we're providing devices and data plans for all 
who need it. Now, settling potential fears of favoritism or maximalism towards the leading crypto asset, Dorsey expressed that the program aims to go beyond the teaching of Bitcoin to conversations surrounding the long-term thinking, local economies, and self-confidence. Now, Jack Dorsey and Jay-Z, whose personal name is Sean Carter, are both vocally conscious figures within the crypto and Web3 landscape. The former has made strides in spotlighting crypto across the block and cash app, while Carter is synonymous with his crypto punk avatar and passion for artistic autonomy on the blockchain. Now for an interesting fact, did you know that the duo co-own a multi-million dollar music label called Tidal, which hinted at a desire to integrate NFTs onto a streaming service last year. And before I break down next story of the day, global Bitcoin adoption to hit 10% by 2030, according to the latest Blockware report. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market cap. Sent just above $1.2 trillion with $59 billion in volume. In the past 24 hours, the current Bitcoin dominance is 46.5%, with the Ether dominance at 17.5%. And checking out the top 100 cryptocurrency gainers in the past 24 hours, we have Helium leading the pack of 5.6%, trading at $11.84, followed by Satoshi Vision up 4.5%, trading at $59.61, followed by Bitcoin Gold up 2.5%, trading at $22.30. And now checking out the top 100 cryptocurrency gainers for the past week, you can see HNT leading the pack up 39%, followed by Osmo up 34%, followed by Link up 27.5%. And checking out one of my favorite indicators is the Crypto Greed and Fear Index. It shows we are currently rated a 13 out of 100 in extreme fear. Yesterday an 11, last week a 10 and last month at 12 in extreme fear. And if you're not familiar with the crypto greed and fear index, extreme fear can be a sign. Investors are too worried. That could be a great buying opportunity like we're witnessing right now. BTFD, buy that blood on the streets. And when investors are getting too greedy, that means the market is due for a correction. But all right, now let's break down on the next story of the day. The adoption of Bitcoin could occur more rapidly than the adoption of past disruptive technologies, such as automobiles and electric power, with global take up likely to hit 10% by 2030, according to this latest report. In its Wednesday report, Blockware Intelligence said it arrived at this forecast by examining historical adoption curves for the past nine disruptive technologies, including automobiles, electric power, smartphones, the internet, and social media, along with the growth rate of the Bitcoin adoption adoption since 2009. As they share here, all disruptive technologies follow a similar exponential S-curve pattern, but newer network-based technologies continue to be adopted much faster than the market expects. And using the average and weighted average of historical technology adoption curves, as well as the growth rate of Bitcoin adoption, the report was then able to arrive at its prediction. It said that based on a metric called cumulative sum of net entities growth in Bitcoin's predicted CAGR of 60%, we forecast that global Bitcoin adoption will break past 10% in the year 2030, which you can see here in this chart. Now, Blockware Intelligence is the research arm of Blockware Solutions, a Bitcoin mining and blockchain infrastructure company, so you might expect it to be bullish on adoption. And as they share in this chart, you can see the technology adoption curves, and you can see the adoption rates comparing the automobile, the landline, the tablet, the cellular phone, radio, smartphone, electric power, the internet, and social media. Now, the intelligence unit said it expects Bitcoin adoption to reach saturation quicker than many other disruptive technologies, given direct monetary incentives to adopt the current macro environment, and because adoption growth will be accelerated by the internet. Quoting the report here, from a consumer perspective, past technologies have conveniently, efficiently related incentives to adopt them. Adopting automobiles allow you to zoom past the horse and buggy. Adopting the cell phone allow you to make calls without being tied to a landline. The report explains, along with the following, with Bitcoin Direct, financially incentivized adoption creates a game theory in which everyone's best response is to adopt Bitcoin. That's right, the Bitcoin game theory in full effect. Now, Bitcoin, like the internet, smartphones, and social media also derives benefits the more people that adopt the technology, which is known as the network effect. Case in point, if we were to only use Twitter, would it be of any value? It would not. More users make these technologies more valuable. However, the authors of the Blockware report stressed that the model used to predict the rate of adoption was only conceptual at this stage, adding it is neither meant to be used as investment advice nor as a short-term trading tool and it would continue to be refined. As shared here, the general trend is clear. There is a high probability that Bitcoin's global adoption will grow significantly into the future and thus 
so will the price. Now, the report and model were reviewed by several crypto investors and analysts, including executives from ARK Invest, Arcane Assets, as well as Amdax Asset Management and M31 Capital. Cryptocurrency adoption has been growing rapidly over the last few years. In 2021, global crypto ownership rates reached an average of 3.9%, with over 300 million crypto users worldwide, according to data from AAA, a global cryptocurrency payment gateway. Now, blockchain data platform Chainalysis last year revealed that the global adoption of Bitcoin and crypto surged 881% from July 2020 to June 2021, and it found that Vietnam to have the highest cryptocurrency adoption, leading 154 countries analyzed, followed by India and Pakistan. And in April, a survey conducted by cryptocurrency exchange Gemini found that crypto adoption skyrocketed in 2021 in countries like India, Brazil, and Hong Kong, as more than half of the respondents from its 20 countries polled stated that they are investing in crypto in 2021. Let the mass adoption continue. And before I break down final story of the day, Bitcoin will finish 2022 flat, possibly up, says Thomas Lee, as Michael Saylor bets on a $1 million Bitcoin price. But first, I want to remind you to smash that show more button right below this video in the description for detailed analysis of what's going on in the crypto market. This goes for all 1,200 plus videos right here on my YouTube channel. Also, some very helpful resources for you to plug into, including my crypto merch store, live at merch.cryptonewsalerts.net. Also, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on all notifications and help to support the channel with the YouTube algorithm. And of course, you can follow me on all the major podcasts and platforms from Spotify, home of the Joe Rogan Experience, to Apple's iTunes and Google Play. We're currently receiving over a half a million downloads per month. So I want to say I greatly appreciate your continued support. And of course, you can follow me on crypto Twitter, Facebook, Telegram, and TikTok. So every app, be sure to plug in and follow me there. But all right, now let's break down our final story of the day. Bitcoin retains two of its best known proponents, but one has cooled its Bitcoin price forecast considerably. In a new interview with CNBC on June 9th, Tom Thomas Lee, co-founder of independent research firm Fundstrat and co-founder of Litecoin, revealed that he was unsure if Bitcoin would end the year above its starting price. Bitcoin price projections for 2022 plummeted as macro pressures combined with black swan events, such as the Terra implosion to send the sentiment to near record lows. While many argue that a capitulation event will enter in the coming months to send the Bitcoin price to 20,000 or under, Lee believes that the underlying strength is worth paying attention to now, quoting him here. Bitcoin is acting far better than people expected, says Tom Lee on sticking with Bitcoin. It's a risk on asset. So to the extent the Nasdaq and Bitcoin rally, it's helping us be more comfortable that the market has already bottomed. And at the same time, Thomas Lee brushed off the terror debacle and redundancies at major crypto companies, including the US exchange Coinbase, saying that Bitcoin was acting far better than people expect. And when asked where the Bitcoin price action was headed by the start of 2023, even if correlated stock markets put in gains, the response was less optimistic. I think Bitcoin is going to make its way flat for the year, possibly up. He concluded Now, Thomas Lee was previously famous for his bullish takes on Bitcoin, among which was a prediction of $200,000 for 2022, made shortly after the last all-time high of $69,000 last November. Let me know if you agree or disagree with Thomas Lee's latest Bitcoin price forecast. And now let's discuss Michael Saylor predicting a $1 million Bitcoin price. That's right, the unapologetically bullish MicroStrategy CEO, Michael Saylor, whose own comment to the mainstream media firmly brushed aside any suggestion of a permanent price downside those who claim that Bitcoin would be banned or go to zero, he told CNBC on June 8th, have already been discredited. If the deniers are wrong and the skeptics are wrong, and it's pretty obvious they're both wrong at this point, it's not going to zero. And if it's not going to zero, it's going to a million dollars, says Michael Saylor. Let me know if you agree or disagree with the Giga Chad. And while nothing new, Saylor being very bullish on where we go from here, increasingly greats with the downbeat perspective on risk assets across the board in a new era of central bank monetary tightening. And as Cointelegraph recently reported, some believe it will take up until the next block subsidy halving in 2024 for a meaningful price recovery to enter. Saylor, meanwhile, said that when it comes to buying more Bitcoin for its existing reserves, there was no point in timing the market. As he shares here, we're kind of doing the equivalent of dollar cost averaging for a large corporation, he explained. We're not trying to time the market. I think all the statistics on the S&P and on the Bitcoin index show you can't time the market. We're just reinvesting free cash flows in the market as circumstances allow us. And to watch the interview with Thomas Lee on CNBC. Check the show notes below the video in the description. Also include the interview with Michael Saylor on CNBC predicting a $1 million Bitcoin price. Now for the top three comments from the previous episode, TJ Mooney wrote, Luna Foundation had to market dump 80,000 Bitcoin at one time and only brought the cascading liquidation wick down to $25,000. Why would anyone think it could go lower? Great point, TJ. Thanks for tuning in and sharing. 
HODL. And our next featured comment comes from Rave Elevator. Best show for up-to-date crypto news around. Insta subscribe. Cheers, Rave. Greatly appreciate your continued support, fam. One love. And our third and final featured comment comes from eCoin. Aloha, JV. Crypto News Alerts delivering again with another great show. Keep up the great work. You got it, amigo. Will do. And to be featured on tomorrow's episode, drop me a comment right down below.